Hi guys, so today I have a pretty decent uh, collective haul to show you. These are stuff I have bought in the past month and I am going to show you them today. I finally got my hands on the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette from Morphe. I was so excited to get this because like, you know, it's very cheap and you get a lot of eyeshadows in here so, and they're really good. They're actually amazing quality for the price. I think I paid like $28. The palette looks like this. There's no mirror and these are all the shades that you get for the price. Um, they're really, really big and they're very pigmented. My favorites, I don't know, I don't have a favorite right now. They're all super pretty. Um, I don't know why, but I do feel like some of the colors look very similar. But when you swatch it, it's like a different color. Completely different than the other one that you thought was kind of similar. At least to me, that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing, amazing palette. It has all the colors I ever want in my life. And yeah... I really love this. If you get the chance to buy it, you should take the advantage of buying it. I also decided to get some of the Morphe brushes just to try them out. I got um, NB23, which is my current favorite. This is amazing to blend out um, eyeshadow. Just buff it all over the crease or your eyelid. I love this one. This one is amazing. And they're so soft. They are so, 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 so soft. When I put it, like, when I'm blending out eyeshadow on my eyelid, I, like, fall asleep because it is, like, a little mini massage for your eyelid. I also got this angled eyeliner. This is the S6. I mainly got this because it was on sale for 99 cents. But, honestly, I thought it was going to be way, way smaller than this. So, yeah, I haven't tried it out yet. But, hopefully, it makes my eyeliner a lot easier or, like, for my eyebrows. I don't know. It was 99 cents, that's why I got it. Now, I don't remember which one was on sale, but this is the M322, and it is a crease brush, I believe. But I like to use this as a smudger for my lower lash line, so yeah, it works. I like it, it's really, really soft as well. I believe this is the crease or blender brush, and this is the MB13. I really, really like this for the crease. It is amazing for this crease, especially doing your outer V. I love this one. Alright, so that was everything that I got from Morphe Brushes. I'm going to now show you what I got from Bath & Body Works. But before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I actually um, left my Bath & Body Works job because I just I couldn't deal with two jobs. I couldn't do that. And um, yeah, I... No! So I'm planning on doing a whole video about my Bath & Body Works experience. And I wanted to let you guys know so you guys can leave me some comments and questions. Well, Leave me questions in the comments about stuff you want to know about Bath & Body Works and working there. So yeah, that is what I wanted to let you guys know. Now I'm going to show you what I got. Alright, so I got a candle and this is the Island Tiar, Tiare, Tiare, Flower? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this smells freaking awesome. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells really good. Out of all the new candles that they came out with, this was my favorite. I went in wanting to get um, the Love candle, but then I smelled this one and I was like, hell no, what? This is the best thing ever. It smells really similar to Love, but Love is a lot stronger, more like fragrant. This one is a lot more mellow and soft and very like, I feel like I'm in Hawaii and I've never even been to Hawaii. God, what is in this? So let me read you the description. It says, The TRA flower, native to South Pacific, blends exquisitely with notes of glittering bronze sand and a hint of island spice. So basically, it tells me nothing of what's inside. But um, yeah, definitely smell this candle. I had a pocket back hand sanitizer that I hated. It was um Endless Weekend. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing in the little bottle, but when you put it on your hands, it smells rotten and weird. So I exchanged it for this one. This is the Fiji White Sands and dude, dude, this smells freaking amazing. Like, I actually smelled the soap before this and I was like, yes. So I tried looking for this one in like the hand sanitizers because they usually do that. They do the hand soap collection and then they do the, like the little baby hand sanitizer, um, basically always. And this was the last one. I was so excited when I saw this. This smells so good. And it lingers on your hands. Like this smell. It smells like you're at 
like an island like a beautiful island resort i got a body scrub this is the tahiti island dream white sand body scrub it smells really really good it smells like a coconut co what <laughs> it smells like a coconutty vanilla -y, musky scent and i love those type of scents for the summertime especially in the shower so yeah, I'm excited to try this out and hopefully to scrub some of my dead skin off. I also got the little travel size of the Tahiti Island Dream. This is the new uh, scent that came out for Bath & Body Works. Um, for some reason, this reminds me of a summery, soft, more gentle version of Alien by Terry Mugler. I think that's how you say that. It smells really, really similar to that. And yeah, I really like this for um, summer because it's very romantic and fresh, but not too fresh like... Hello, I'm Summer. No, like... Mm. Mm. I got some stuff from Sephora. And basically I got these stuff because they were on sale. Um, the first thing I got, which is not in the little bag, but this is the Soap & Glory Face Soap & Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and saying that it is amazing and all this awesome things about this. And um, so I got it because it was on sale. They are removing Soap and Glory from all Sephora. So everything from Soap and Glory is on sale basically. And I haven't tried this out yet because I don't want to open it when I already have like two other face washes opened. But I am running out of my favorite face wash at the moment. So this is going to be... Um, used after that one gets rid of. I got the Sephora Favorites Fragrance Sampler and I mainly got this because I'm gonna get the Nirvana White um, Rollerball because you can get a rollerball. But basically this has a bunch of little samples and then you get a certificate to redeem for a full-size rollerball. And like you guys know, I love mixing my Nirvana Black and Nirvana White together. So I already have the, the Nirvana Black that I got in a Sephora gratis, so now I'm getting this one. I also got this Sephora uh, Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner. Cleanser? Cleaner. Um, I hate this. I don't like this at all. I am actually returning this because I just I felt like it didn't do anything. Like, yes, it did clean my brushes, but not as clean as I want a little spray to do. The Makeup for Everyone is so much better than this one, and I don't know. I really did not like this, so... Going back, I got the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita and I did use this in a tutorial um, so I will link it down below. I really really love Anita. This is like a like a My Lips But Better. It's a nude pink so it's really beautiful. It goes on a lot of skin types. Maybe not darker skin types but lighter skin types. All of them from the palest to the medium darks ish. Oh this is a little sample of the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan self tanning night moisture mask i really like this it actually works so yeah but it is expensive like the big bottle is like 40 dollars and it's not that much i also got some little nanos from nanos that sounded weird um these are from the sephora they are removing it from sephora so at least in my sephora inside jc penny these were a dollar 99 so yes i got some i have three lip liners and then one eyeliner um for the lip liners i got pin up pink I got Pretty Praline and um, Pure Pinky. I, I don't really like the pink ones, but I know I'm going to need it one day and I'm going to be like, why don't I have one? And for $1.99, you can't beat it. And the eyeliner I got is called Iced Brown. And I actually found this on accident. A client was looking for metallic eyeliners from the Sephora collection. And then I saw this one and then the next day it was on sale. So I got it. And that's all I got from Sephora. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got from H&M, which is only two little things. I got a black maxi dress. It looks like this, sort of. Um, I will have the video or a clip of me wearing this in the video that I put this on. So I basically got this for the Legend of Zelda Symphony concert. So yeah, I really, really like this. It was really like comfortable. And I'm short, guys. Like I'm really, really short. I am four... What is it? What am I? Four eleven and a half? No, I'm not even five feet, guys. So I'm really short. And every maxi dress fits me really long so I thought I had to like chop off the bottom but to my surprise I didn't because the shoes I wore were the perfect height so thank you H&M this was like about $30 so it wasn't super expensive and then I got this long sleeve 
kind of flowy top. I really wanted this because it looked just not like something I normally wear. It looks something more, a little bit more mature than what I typically wear out. But this looks so beautiful with um, high-waisted jeans and this tucked in. Not even high-waisted jeans, just this tucked into jeans and um, like little booties. Super cute. I'm excited for it to get cold now <laughs> so I can wear this and not like die. Alright, and the last place I shopped at was Forever 21 and this is where I got most things because I got some jewelry, I got a sun sunglass, sunglass, right? Not sunglasses. Hmm. I got shades and I got some jeans that I needed very badly. The first thing I got was a actual romper. I don't own any rompers because I don't know, like my body type is kind of weird and a lot of rompers do not fit me like right. So yeah, I finally found one that I liked. And this one is like the one that go all the way down to my feet. And then it just has that pattern all over it. And then yeah, just do 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 do. I think this is perfect for summer, especially with a really nice belt and some wedges. Yes. I really like the Forever 21 jeans because they are cheap and they actually last a pretty long time. So I got these which are like a black gray kind of color and then I got um, these which, are, which is just your typical blue wash jean color. I got these pairs of sunglasses because I don't have anything that's oversized and I thought these would look really nice for summer now. It has like this beautiful peachy uh pinky color right here on the frame and yeah Ooh. i don't know do you guys like them it's so difficult for me to buy sunglasses because my face is very very small and skinny and then everything at the mall is big and i'm not used to that so let me know what you guys think I got this set of earrings from Forever 21 and I mainly got this for the long earrings that I wore to the Legend of Zelda Symphony. Um, and yeah, it comes with these really pretty, um, these are the ones that you see so like from the front and the back kind of earrings. And these are the pearl ones and then it just comes with little rhinestones on the top right here. And then the other pair of earrings that I got are these. And I thought these were so cool and different because when you put them on, it looks like you're wearing like hoops, but you're really not because they're like half, half, yeah. They're kind of aztec -y and really, really cool. I think with black, something like black on top, it's going to look beautiful. And then the last ones I got are these. And these are my favorite because these remind me of The Little Mermaid. And they're just like these little starfish um, studs with it's gold with some little fake diamonds, rhinestones in the star. Alright, so I believe that is all I have bought in the past month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will talk to you in my next one. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and week. It's so awkward to do videos when my whole family is home. Ah, okay. Bye. <laughs>